Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to update the PlayStation 2 emulator on your K9 drive. I've seen quite a few people say they get errors while trying to update the PlayStation 2 emulator. So the first thing I'm going to do, as you can see, I've backed it up. So just drag and drop it to your desktop before I make any changes. Let's open it up. My assumption is everybody's going to this, either one of two. 64 version. That will not update for you. Watch, check. Check for updates, download and install, and I'm going to get an error. That version really doesn't exist anymore. It's this right here. So I'm going to run the program, and it, it will erase any saves you have, unfortunately. I believe so. There is a way around it. I'll, I'll check it now in a second. I don't really have any saves, I'm going to be honest. Check for updates. Yeah, it's going to find the update. This will download, as you can see. Uh, this update uh, will make your save states, sorry, your save states incompatible. But be sure that any uh, save, yeah, yeah, your cards will be, yeah. So I say yes. And that should update the program once it opens back up. As you can see, everything is updated and ready to go. That is how you update the PlayStation 2 emulator. But please make a backup in case something goes wrong. If it does, let me know down in the comment section and I'll walk you right through it. But but just before we end the video, actually, let's say I've seen people update it and it's erased all the information, as in nothing worked. What you will need to do in that scenario is go to the website, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description, and download the files themselves. There's two options. One's called the installer and one is called the downloads. That's this folder here. Open that up. And I'll have all the files. And that's just drag and drop it into the folder. But the best way is to back it up just in case something goes wrong. Let me test the game first. Right click. So the very first one is Agent Under Fire. Right click. Fast boot. And it works. I'm that confident. EA Games. There you go. That's how you get it to work. Let me triple check for those people. Double, triple, whatever check. Let me close that down. I'm going to launch it in Retrobat. Go back. Let's open up Retrobat. And Retrobat for me is sometimes slow to load and sometimes fast. It's weird. Uh, there we go. Agent. Oh, I'm in the. I'm in the PS2. Or am I in the Xbox? Hang on. Oh, I went to all games. So PlayStation Two, Agent Under Fire. And as you can see, it is working. Like I always say, have a. Hope you enjoyed the video. And have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. And thanks for everybody subscribing recently. Really appreciate it. See you in the next video.